Uh, my name is 45 RPM. I live in Bristol and a um, freelance artist, designer. Don't damn time. Rock on. Ignite my song. Bring my posse along to the party. Cause danger zone. From the heart is in effect. So I say Don't buddy, damn study. Time. Think and learn. Dig the move we made. Basically, my style starts from graffiti where you've got to draw a cartoon-based character. I don't know why, but that's just what happens and what everyone does. So I didn't have anyone to draw the cartoon-based characters next to my pieces, so I just thought I'd give it a go. And then I prefer like the old, older style of characters and like the vintagey look, like harking back, I guess, to like vintage New York graffiti, and, like old advertising, and it's what everyone likes. If you skate or you surf or you do anything, it's like cooler to go back to the older images and the older decks. So. Yeah, I guess it's just got a bit of a vintage look to it, and it's just sort of tumbled from there, really. I've spent whatever now, like 18 years perfecting letters, like my name, painting it, and I'm still not very good at it, and I'm slowly getting it. And every now and then I paint a piece that I'm proud of. No one cares. Literally, no one cares. And whoever walks past doesn't care. And if I put it up on Instagram, like some mates who write letters care, maybe. But then if I paint whatever, a hedgehog, like an old lady walking past would be like, haha, a hedgehog. Do I mean like, like it's funny straight away and then a the little kid will like the hedgehog and obsess with it and say hello to it every morning on the way to school and my mates who paint letters will like the hedgehog. Do you know what I mean? So it appeals to the graffiti artist, the old person, the kid. So that's obviously was important then in my head. I was like, oh wow, this, this is actually going somewhere and it's not just me spending 20 years perfecting something for like 10 other mates. So maybe I should probably push the hedgehog thing a little bit more. Yeah, <clears throat> like social media is massive. I don't want it to be as huge as it is, but then I do at the same time. So yeah, if I was gonna go to say somewhere like, I don't know, Romania, I know that I could just probably hashtag Romania graffiti. Oh, there's some people, who do they know that I know? And then just, it's like mutual appreciation where if you've painted, if you go abroad and you paint with other people, and then know that your mates with someone else, or you're someone else, so you sort of, like if you just keep painting and you're recognised as someone and they will know that you're a good guy before they've met you by who you are and what you paint. So you should be able to look at my style and then you know that I'm going to be alright. That's how it works in my head. But I can tell like by what graffiti whether or not that person's going to be okay. So you should just be able to look at my Instagram and be like, he'd be fun for a beer. Do you know what I mean? He likes Black Sabbath. That sort of, you know, and it's like, yeah, cool, we'll be mates. It's like a skater seeing another skater, you know you're going to have the same interest. So graffiti really works in that way of, I've never met you before, you know, we live on the other side of the world, but like, yeah, you can stay at my house. So, for quite a few years, it's calmed down a little bit now. Uh, actually, weirdly, like this year, it's calmed down a little bit, but for years I was quite a like, backpacker's graffiti destination. I'd always feel like there was another mate crashing at my flat. He's like, it literally you get a phone call and someone's like, you can trust this guy, he's mates with me. And I'm like, wicked. And then I like, go to a bus station, I'm like, oh, hi, you Tony. And then that's it, they're staying at my house for like five days and I'm the guide. You know when you leave some of the keys the next morning and I'm like going into work thinking, like, I've never met this man in my life. I don't actually know like what he writes, anything about him. But you know, like someone said that he's all right. So yeah, but it's amazing because then they've got to put me up. So. Like knowing hotel managers across the world. I, I guess I'd want my future just to be exactly the same as this. Like, I, I'm like 100% happy, I couldn't be happier. I get to like draw nonsense and I still can pay my bills. You know, like, I can't buy a posh car, I don't want a posh car. Do you know what I mean? Like, my need would be like, oh, my pens have run out, I need another pen. Like, I've got ideas and I've got paper. I've got good mates and I live in a really good city. And I get to paint. So as long as I can keep bumbling and doing what I'm doing, yeah. Three, two, cross the bridge, you know what I mean? Yeah, I want to say what's up to my South Philly Danger Zone Posse. A special hello to my mom, 28th Street, Tasker, 24th Street, Mike C, my brother Tron, my sister Evans, Hogan, 